Today's video is sponsored by KiwiCo. Check the link and code below for 50% off. This mystery box has characters that actually cry? What? Yes, we're going to be unboxing fantasy mystery boxes of characters like unicorns and dragons that apparently cry. Introducing Cry Baby's Magic Tears. And as you can see, we have 14 mystery boxes that we're going to unbox today. The entire set has about seven different characters, so we're hoping that we can get the entire collection of these crybabies. And each set, again, these come in pairs of two, is about $12 for two of them, which is technically not bad for a mystery box. But holy shrimp, this has over 2,200 reviews at 4.7 stars? What? That is an incredible rating for a mystery box. And the last time we did something that was highly rated, it went something like this. Fall. Oh my god, what a mess. So if you do want to see one of the worst mystery boxes I've ever unboxed, I'll link it down below. But if we look at the pictures here on Amazon, we can see that a cute little unicorn and even a triceratops is over there. I don't think dinosaurs are fantasy creatures, but okay, they're, I guess, rares, rare animals. <laughs> and the entire collection you can see here, we have seven different creatures. Again, I'm not sure why they have a chick and a deer classified as fantasy creatures, but let me know in the comment section below, which one of these do you you hope that we get today and if you think we're going to get the entire collection let me know in the comments I'm really curious I I'm always pessimistic you know what I'm gonna try and be hopeful because I could be hopeful too I mean listen there's inspiration music happening oh my god this is so inspirational Wow so I'm gonna go ahead and bet that we're today we're going to get the entire collections because we have 14 mystery boxes and we only need seven don't disappoint me don't do it don't disappoint me but in all honesty if we don't get the entire collection I really hope that we do at least get the green dragon and the blue little dino next image shows us the same thing so we're supposed to be able to feed the character and then it's supposed to cry tears and we have like food and stickers again I'm really curious about the quality again they're showing us the same thing more stickers more of the characters this bird is not a fantasy creature but I I guess we'll find out but oh oh let's look at there's there's a video you know you know I want to watch the video so let's see what the video has to offer us all right crybaby is magic tier fantasy again we see the entire collection of the characters okay so we make it drink water and then oh my goodness the tears really do come out of the eyes and that's it. It was a 14 second promotional video. Sure, we'll take it. At least it gives us an idea on the mechanics of this, so I'm excited to check it out. You know what else I'm excited for? If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do. And this year, don't worry about it. It's just a sharp pointy thing. And what am I gonna do with it? I'm definitely going to be waving it. Just, just waving it, that's all. It's, that's very harmless. <laughs> So make sure that you do subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there, which will make you a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. Oh, and by the way, if you are curious, apparently this series called Crybabies actually has baby mystery boxes, which again, I'm not a fan of humanoid type characters or even human characters, so that's why we're doing the fantasy one. So let's go ahead and move it. I'm just gonna move all of them. Hang on, give me a second. Just hang on. To bring the camera and there you go and the other interesting thing to know about this set is I'm curious if two of them that come in a pack if there's going to be a repeat pattern so let's say I get a dinosaur and then a unicorn is it possible that the ones that are always stuck together will always be dinosaur unicorn we're gonna find that out too oh and uh, yeah so it ends up being $12 each times seven kitty ca kitty editor please take out your calculator and this time instead of wearing your cute glasses put on your cute little hat you're so adorable and we're gonna multiply the price times seven plus plus $30 shipping, because it's from the US, and then we're going to convert that to Canadian. So I paid approximately $150 or $160 for this set. Is it worth it? I don't think so, but I do it anyway. All right, so let's examine the box and see, what is, why does it have an official sticker? This is so weird. It has an official sticker, but even the official sticker is like blurry. Yeah, that is blurry. I thought it was my camera, but it ain't my camera. And there isn't a way to actually open this in a satisfying kind of way like we do with mini brands or even, oh no, wait, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm 100% wrong. I don't have my glasses. <laughs> All right, so it's over there right behind the actual sticker, which is a really weird placement. Okay, let's get you going. Come on, come on. Why is this? Nope, there we go. Can we, we got you? Very nice. Okay, and let's see. Oh, what is that? I thought 
that was a napkin. I was like, what kind of experience is this? Okay, so it's a white piece of paper, definitely not immersing me in this experience, but I do see a holographic piece in here. Very, very, very nice. Okay, so we have a holographic mystery bag. I'm really, really digging this. And then I'm guessing this is where this, oh wait, maybe we shouldn't look at the stickers because that's going to be a spoiler. That's actually really neat that they covered the front so we don't get spoilers. So we'll check that out later. And let's see what we have in here. What is that? Oh, that's the bottle. Oh, it is very squishy. Look at this. So we have a silicone bottle, both top and bottom. So there's nothing hard about this. And let's open you. What are you? Oh, oh, there's buttons. That is a button. We have the purple unicorn character. Oh no. Okay, I got worried for a little bit. Because I felt the glitter on the hooves, I was like, oh no, they didn't seal their glitter, which is terrible, because then it means we'll get glitter all over our fingers and microplastics everywhere. But thank the gads, that's not it. But no, they actually did seal the glitter, so you won't have little speckles of glitter everywhere. And it is tiny holographic spots that go all the way down the mane, the tail, and the hooves. The character is cute, so you can see you can give it the water here, and the tear ducts are right outside. Okay, that's cute. And then we press the button to release the tears. You know what? I'm actually pretty curious about that. And let's have a look at our stickers. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on. I got you. And that's terrible. Why is it that the sticker is all bent? I feel like they can actually work on this, but we see that there's a cute unicorn sticker. We have strawberries and candies and pink pretzels and green pretzels and a magical flower. That's not too bad. And I'm guessing that's the name of the unicorn. It's corny. <laughs> Why are you corny, unicorn? Is it because you're horsing around? Okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's true. It did say it comes with a piece of food. So I'm guessing this is a cupcake that is terribly painted. No effort whatsoever on the cupcake. All right, so here we go with the cup of water. I have the little silicone thing. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Yeah, feels like there's sufficient water. And let's go ahead. Oh my goodness. Can I feed you? Okay, there it is. And I'm gonna squeeze. Can I squeeze? That is not... squeeze? I don't feel like I can squeeze the water. It's not letting me, but... Oh, but... Oh, water went everywhere. Yeah, it's not... Hang on. It's not taking the water. Let's try it again. Drink the water. Maybe I... Maybe I'm not supposed to push all the way in. All right, I have no idea. I'm going to assume that is enough. But let me dry it just in case. I want to see the actual... I want to see your tears coming down. That's a terrible thing to say. I want to make sure they're actual unicorn tears and not crocodile tears, okay? You ready? All right, so I'm going to press the button in the back of the head. Hello? Nope. Come on. Okay, there's something going on. Let me try and put some more water. Clearly. It doesn't seem to go in. Let me try this again. Let's see this. Look at that. Again. It's there. All right, so I definitely have water and I'm trying to get the water in here. Let's do loose. Actually, you know what? Let's do, let me push all the way. And you can see that this is not, it's not letting me go through. I still feel the water. Okay, pull you out. Let me put you at the surface level. No. Okay, let me put it even more surface level. All the water's gushing back out. Okay, I'm not sure. This is not working out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and press the button in the back again. Hello? What's going on? I don't hear any water in there. Okay, maybe there's something I'm missing here. I'm, this is not going well. Let's check out the character guide in case it's telling us something different. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but we'll find out. So here we have the character guide. We see all the different characters in 3D. Why does it say six to collect? Oh, six plus. Why are you writing six plus to say seven? It's seven. And in the back, it's saying to do the water. Okay, put it laying down until it fills up and then press and it should happen. Okay, okay, let's try. All right, so the character's laying down. Let's see if that works. No, come on. Let me push harder. No, let me try it this way. No, let me try it at the surface. Nope, the water's all leaking. If you can't see, let's put a little arrow for you. We have a little puddle there. I don't hear any water. Let me press the back of the head again. Nope. Nope. What the heck? Okay, we're gonna try a different character. Maybe the unicorn is broken. All right, so I wanted to check real quick on Amazon if anyone's given it a bad review for any reason. And we could see here that it has one star because apparently some of the figurines didn't drink water and if it did drink water, the button was only working on one eye and if it worked on one eye, sometimes it just splashed. So if you wanna pause and read this, go ahead and do so. But I guess I'm not having a one-time experience. Next character, at least they open well. And what do we have? We have our water drinking bottle. We have our character. Let's pull you out. 
There you go. And we don't want to see any spoilers. And we should have our little drinking bottle. I'm oh, they're exactly the same. So they didn't put any effort whatsoever on customizing the bottles based on different characters, which is a huge pity and a little bit of laziness. I know some of you are going to say it's so that the bottle fits all the other characters, but I mean, the outside could be different colors too. But let's see who we get. And we have the dragon. No, it's not a dragon. Wow, that was the biggest disappointment. <laughs> Imagine you're, someone comes behind you and you think it's one friend, but it's a, not a friend. It's an acquaintance and you're like, oh, not you. Oh wait, there's an accessory in here. I keep forgetting about the accessory. What? What is that? A tomato? I think this is a tomato or a fruit or a pumpkin. But since they're not colored, I don't know what they are. So here is our dear figurine. Again, luckily for us, these are sealed bits of glitter, which I really truly do appreciate. Again, the glitter is exactly the same for the unicorn. So we have holographic type glitter and we have the tear ducts on both eyes. And we also have a little bit of the glitter on the antlers. But the character truly is cute. It feels like it could be something straight out of Animal Crossing. And here's what it looks like in the back. The button is different. So we have a circular button. This one definitely feels a lot better. Yeah presses better. Whereas this one is kind of taking the shape of the head. So it's going to be interesting to see whether or not they work. By the way, this button down here is not a button. Nothing happens. I think it's just design. But let's go ahead and put you in here and squeeze. This one's better. This, oh, oh, you're crying. Oh no. Okay. It definitely took the water. So let's go ahead and press the button in the back. Hello? Hello? We definitely saw water come out. Maybe it needs more water. Let's try more water. All right, let's put some more water in there. Ooh, okay. Are you full? Well, now it's full. I just wanna make sure I'm not taking water back out. Okay, there we go. So we made sure it's full. I'm not pulling the water back out because I don't wanna hear some of you say, but Jake, you're doing it wrong. Stop, stop it. Okay, it's full now. Let's go ahead and press the button. Hello? Maybe I need to make you face forward? No, what the heck? These mechanisms don't work. Let me press it slower. No, let me press it faster. Nothing, what? There's water coming out of the backside. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, well this mechanism is garbage so far. <laughs> Who's rating these things? What the shrimp? By the way, if you're looking for something that is either sensory play, games, a little scientific, in order to encourage excitement, curiosity, and moments of new discovery, whether it be for you or a little one, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Kiwi Cup. As someone who was a teacher, I can tell you 100% that I absolutely love the concept of Kiwi Co. And it really does make a great gift for the upcoming holiday season. For those of you who don't know Kiwi Co., they come with everything you need in order to make specific projects every month. And they have so many different kinds of crates, starting with the Kiwi Co. Panda Crate, the Kiwi Co. Yummy Crate, all the way to the Maker and Eureka Crates. Let's discover acids and bases. Let's make one mixture of each, one scoop of citric acid, plop, mixy mixy, over here, and one scoop of baking soda, plop inside. Mixy mixy. Taking out our litmus paper, and let's check out the color change. Dunk. Oh my goodness, that was quick. What? That's cool. Here we have an acid, here we have a base. Let's try with a lemon. Will it turn green or red? Red. Yep, acid. And I really do love that they give you really everything that you need so you don't have to run off and get anything delivered monthly straight to your door. And the little zine that comes in there reminds me of when I was a little grain and loved being curious and flipping through these books that had so much wealth of information and just fun discoveries. KiwiCo really knows how to make learning fun for any age. And if you're not ready to subscribe to the amazingness that is KiwiCo just yet, that is okay because they have a KiwiCo shop where you can go and select the exact crate that you want in order to test it out and see what interests are best for you or your little one. So what are you waiting for? If you're looking for something to spend your quality time and a fun and enriching experience with the convenience, of course, of being straight to your door, check my link down below and use the code NERDYCRAFTER to get 50% off your first crate. Again, the link is down below as well as on the screen here and the code NERDYCRAFTER for 50% off your first month's crate. Thank you KiwiCo for being huge supporters of this channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. And here's what the set of stickers look like and its name is Reesey. I feel like the only crying that's going to happen from this set is me. I'm gonna cry. All right, how do we open you? Let's get some skizzers and then we're gonna twist it. There they are. All right, and 
And let's go ahead and get our little bottle out. Our character, Verenas. I think the goal of today's video really is going to be to find at least one of the characters that actually cries properly. Never thought I'd say that. You are a double, you son of a biscuit. Let's see if you cry. Let's put this in here and squeeze. It is not taking the water. Oh, that is not, oh, that is not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just got splashed with water all over my face. You can tell the force I'm trying to put in there, but it's not, it's not taking, it's not taking the water. <laughs> Come on. Okay, all right, that is a lot of water. Okay, I need, I, I do not want to ruin my equipment, so I'm gonna just clean you up here. Did it get on the lens? Yes, it did. Look, you can see a little splotch of water up there. I'm gonna clean you. I'm gonna clean you up. I got you, camera. I got you. Are you good? Yes, you're good. So that's not working. And is the accessory the same? Yes, it's this weird tomato pumpkin. Next! You know what? I'm not mad that we got the deer because now we're gonna know if the set comes together. So if we get a unicorn, it means they're packaged together all the time. So let's go ahead. Yes. Let's open you. Take out my baby bottle thing. Come on, come on. And you are not the unicorn, not the unicorn. The dragon, hey, super cute. Okay, good news is they're not packaged together. Good, I don't. I didn't want to say anything. The tip of my tongue was about to be fiery. I almost had fire in my mouth. And as always, these water bottle things are exactly the same. So here you go. And this one also, there you go. So there's really nothing special about these. And listen, I see air. Yeah, there's air. I feel it. I don't see air, I actually feel the air. <laughs> as a, uh, so let's take a look at the uh, dragon figurine. We have quite a bit of the holographic glitter. Again, everything is sealed. We have it on the belly, on the little toesies, the cute little ears, the horn, and it has little spikes and even a set of wings in the back. So here's what it looks like in the back. Oh, that is bad design. That's a really bad design because when you press the buttons, the spikes, look at that. I'm not even pressing hard, but the spikes are digging into your fingers. So it's very unpleasant. I don't like this, but let's let's hope it works though. All right, in you go. Please drink. Are you drinking? You are not drinking. That is not. Nope. You see the water squirting out. Look, we we do have a hole in here. Let me double check. Yeah, there's a hole on the inside of the mouth. It's really hard to see, but let's brighten it a lot more and let's zoom in a lot more. But I have a feeling some of these holes are just not pierced through in the actual mold. So it's possible there's just no way to get the water in. Let's push in, squeeze. Nope, there's no air pocket. This is just not squeezing in. I can't, my fingers hurt at this point. So we can't make this character cry, unfortunately. If y'all have suggestions, go for it. So far, these characters are cute, but they're literally dollar store figurines with no actual mechanism. So uh, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and try again. We're gonna keep going. Maybe we're gonna end up getting all the figurines. Venonas. Let's, we're, oh wait, we didn't even check the stickers for the dragon. What are you? Come here, dragon. And the dragon's name is Brew for brutal, brutally hurting my feelings. What's funny is that the goal of the video basically, let's take these out. The goal of the video basically started off as me saying, can we get the whole collection? But now the goal is, can we get a character to actually work? Cause so far we got one that didn't drink any of the water. Then we got one that drank water, but didn't cry unless I squeezed it extra. So the mechanism just doesn't work. All right, let's see what you are. You are. Oh, that is a tight fit. Oh my goodness. Uh, another dragon. <laughs> Why? 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 So we have two dragons. This, this, this is starting to become really seriously one of the worst as well. Why are these some of the highest rated? Stop giving something a high rating if it's garbage. Companies will never give you good products if you give them good ratings. Stop it. All right, do you drink? No, this one does not drink either. I am, oh, look at that. I am so Oh. Yeah, that is not, that is not taking water. Okay, next. Oh my goodness, that is the, we already opened that one. Why is it, why is it here? That did not go in the recycling. We're just gonna. Everything's going wrong at this point. All right, you know what, I just gave up at this point. We're just gonna open it and find out who do we have. The water bottle again. Let's not look at the spoiler sticker. And here you are. 
See? The green dragon! You're adorable! Wait, that is not a dragon. I think this is supposed to be a T-Rex. Let's check out the sticker in the character guide. And the sticker is Dee Dee. I guess the characters have their own baby companions, but the stickers really do look terrible. I wouldn't collect them myself. I'm very picky on my stickers. So we can see the difference here is that the character doesn't have any kind of wings. So I'm really guessing that this is supposed to be a dino. And it has a cute little tooth on the side here. And the mechanism in the back again also has, oh my goodness, look at that. The indent of pressing the button down is on a spike which is very, very unpleasant again. Terrible design, terrible, I don't understand. You have the best job in the world creating and designing toys and figurines and you still manage to do a terrible job. Why? I would fire you. It doesn't work. All right, little dino, T-Rex, please drink. No, it is not drinking. Look at that, the water's just squirting up. Look at that. It is not wanting to drink. It's just squirting all over the place. Do not take me out of context. It's the dinosaur's mouth is squirting, okay? Wait a damn minute. <laughs> you shut your pie hole. All right, so I squirted a lot of water into the dino, but it's not going in. Again, here you could see better the hole, but I don't think it pierces through. And I'm pressing the back. You could hear that? And nothing, this hurts. This really does hurt. Garbage, real garbage. Next. Oh, what is the accessory? What the heck? A chocolate, pink chocolate. Lazy, lazy again. All right, we're, we're just going, we're gonna fly through these. You are, you are, you are a new one. No. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is definitely a new one. So first we got the purplish type unicorn and now we have the colorful unicorn. Design is exactly the same. Hang on, I got water all over my screen. <laughs> there you go. The design is exactly the same down to the bow that I didn't notice the first time because it's not really painted, to the hair, to the back, and everything. But I really do like this one better just because of the colors. And we're gonna try and, my guess is that because they're the same mold, it's not gonna take the water. Yeah, it's not taking the water. Yeah, I'm basically squeezing into nothing. Imagine squeezing a water bottle back into itself. There's just no air flow for it to be taken. Yeah, you see, squeezing and nothing's being, nothing's being taken. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, that just squirted everywhere. I'm gonna put my felt here in case it's better to see the water that way. Squeeze, let me try this way. Squeeze, try a different angle. Squeeze, nothing, nope. See, it's just coming back out. Yeah, nope, yep, but nope. And just to show you, I'm gonna push the back here again. Nothing. Nothing again. Let's check out, maybe the stickers are cute, right? <laughs> and the name is Rim, okay. Yeah, I'm still not crazy about the stickers. What's the accessory? Hello? Oh, there it is. We have a cup of ice cream, I'm guessing. All right, next. Uh... I'm, I'm giving, I'm, I, why, why am I spending my time trying to make this work? I feel like I'm spending more time trying to make this work than they did producing or designing this product. Take that. Oh! All right, up you go. And what do we have? Character, the birdie. Maybe the bird is a rare fantasy character because it's supposed to be a phoenix. I don't know, but I'm not getting an indication of phoenix. Maybe the tail is fire. So technically a phoenix is supposed to rise from the fire, from the flames to be reborn. So I'm guessing the tail here is supposed to be the flame, which makes sense, I guess. And it has glitter on the beak. I might actually have hope on this one because I feel like the mold pierces all the way through. So let's go ahead and try this one. It is a very cute figurine. So let's feed you and oh my goodness are you taking anything no it is not let's try to go straight down and the answer is still no i'm still having a hard time getting the water in there let me just feed it through the outside no nope look at all that water just spill it let's press the button nope no water's getting in there. This is so frustrating. I am a very critical person but make at least some of your products work holy shrimp No. No matter which way you put it, you can't squeeze. You can't, ow. You can't, ow. It's just, it's just hitting the wall and just splatting back out. And what's the accessory? Flower bowl, okay. Okay, okay. And in case you're wondering, yes, I am trying both standing and laying down and it's not absorbing any water. Even when I'm shaking the head, it ain't going whoosh, 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 like that. And this one is called Filu. Again, the stickers are very mid, very mid. 
But so far we have one, two, let's zoom out a little, three, four, five, and six of the seven characters. Which one are we missing? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we're missing this, the, the, the Triceratops. That's the rare? I thought the unicorn was rare. All right, so our goal is to try and find that little dino. That's where we're at now. So we have six out of the seven. All right, y'all, get out of the way. I don't have time for you. And we still have quite a bit more. So as soon as we find the Triceratops, then we know our mission is... You said that thing. Our mission for today is to just get that Dush Garden Triceratops because if we're not gonna get the product that works, at least we're gonna have it completed. And then I can go ahead and cry myself because at least I know my tear ducts work. This is terrible. All right, what do we got? This is gonna be the same thing. Pull you out. And what you gonna be? Be the Triceratops. No, this is another dragon. I'm gonna, well, T-Rex. I'm gonna put these aside and we're gonna test all the other ones separately. And it gets also, what is that? A, a drumstick, okay? It has a chicken leg that's indented? Why? Why, why do you have an indented drumstick? I don't know. <laughs> all right, you best be the other dinosaur we're looking for. What? I think it was blue, right? Kitty editor, remind us what color it was. Pretty sure it was blue. So we're gonna look for something blue and you are? No, another unicorn. Companies, if y'all are gonna make something rare, make it at least happen once in a case. I don't know, just me, but let's go. You gonna be the Triceratops, cause I called it. <laughs> this one's kind of bulky. What are you? No, another unicorn, okay. And of course it comes with its uh, effortless accessory. This is the pair it comes with. And what are you gonna be? I have a feeling it's another unicorn. I think I saw a sneak peek in the sticker, but I could be wrong. No, it's the little birdie, the phoenix rising. The only phoenix rising we need is one that's actually going to rise to this occasion. Hmm, you didn't. And this here is the final set of two. The final set. Are we gonna get the rare Triceratops or not? It's a re weird character actually to make it the rare one, but we have no other choice. So we're gonna put our hands together and pray to the mini tier gods of everyone. Dear mini fantasy tier gods of Evermore, please protect me from quadruples, clogged mouths, and missing tears. But also, just give me a Triceratops! Again, this one feels quite bulky, so you are. Nope, I saw green, but it was supposed to be blue. Another T-Rex. I'm actually curious if the drumstick is also indented again. Yes. And I Still don't know why. This is our last chance. Absolute last chance, come on, come on. Give me something, give me something. No. That's a lot of unicorns, man. In the last three sets, we opened three more of these unicorns, two T-Rexes and a Phoenix. And here's me basically going through each one of them, making sure that they can actually absorb water or if tears are going to come out. And as you can see, it's absolutely a failure. Wait a gosh darn darn minute. This one actually absorbed it. So let's see if it actually cries. Hang on, it took in all the water. <gasps> Oh my god! Oh well, that didn't last very long. <laughs> it did one set of tears! I can't believe on the final unicorn, this one actually worked. So let's go ahead and feed it more. Oh my goodness, come on, take it, take it, take it, take it. I'm gonna squeeze a lot more. I'm gonna try and tip the head backwards. You can see the tears coming out of the eyes. I'm gonna pull so I don't suck in any of the water. Let's dry you up. Okay, you're all dried up. And let's press the button in. This is exciting! Oh my god! Are you joking? Look, look! That is, that is sad. That's just one very little tear. It's working-ish. That is, that is so anticlimactic. Garbage, absolute garbage. And here you have it again. Some of the best rated worst mystery boxes on Amazon that you should probably avoid. If you want to watch more of the best rated worst products, make sure you click up here. If you want to catch something a little crafty, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video. Take two of the entire intro. <laughs> Let's try that. Okay, hang on. Am I even in focus? Fix the little hat. Okay, I'm in focus. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm ready.